today, hon? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, just hanging in there. You look beautiful, baby. Thank you. Oh, so how's my camera? Am I chopping off the top of my chopping head? Chopping off the top of your head, yep. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me fix that. Let me, there you go. Let's get that. Ginger will be here shortly. She said, she sent me a message saying she'll be fashionably late. Fashionably late. So anyway, so how's your week been going? I've spent most of it just doing research. What, you've been researching? Well, everything's going on, mostly the beer virus. And the under 21 yeah. version of it, I guess it's the, yeah, the two years younger than 21 version of it. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't know what the under 21 version of it means. What well, it is, you know, divide minus 21 minus uh, two equals what? 21 minus two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That version, yeah, that version. Of yes, it. yes, this this version right here, here. But that's, no, that's, 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 a, that's an amorphous term that covers all of them. There's like a million or so um, of those beer viruses. But the one specific one, the uh, under 21 version of it is, um, under 21 version beer, I guess it's like a duels, but different. Um, mm -hmm. Under 21 version of it is um, is um, very specific. And there's, a, I'll explain it all in a second. There's a lot of stuff going on that um, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's actually incredibly fucked up. Um, well, what we were just talking about before we, we came on live, because before, you know, we hit the intro and we, we go live, we just talk for a few minutes, you know, just about, you know, just a little show prep, whatever. You know, I mean, this is totally off the cuff, you know, Im impromptu. Um, oh, it's absolutely scripted. We just write But back. we were talking about how, how uh, you know, uh, um, uh, a beer virus is just a regular generic term for uh Any beer virus, virus. transmits from a from a animal to human right yeah and so there's it, hundreds of millions of them yeah right and 19 is just because it, it was discovered in 2019 yeah it's just the second version of the uh of, um, of the uh, what was that respiratory one from before i don't know how close we how much we can say on youtube but um yeah, right like but yeah no the um see the thing with um you know what they're doing okay let me start off at the very beginning on March 24th, the World Health Organization and uh, CDC came out with new, uh, new coding guidelines for, um, for the under-21 version deaths. And they, um, they made it so vague, like literally so vague, that it's going on, it's the, the death certificates are now signed with probables. And they actually admitted it on the 5th of April, finally came out and the CDC went, yes, we're using the ones that we've certified, went from the under-21 version, and also ones that are probably that way. And the probable ones are anyone, anybody who's had any contact with um, any hospital, medical professional, any uh, hot, spot, hot spot, hot zone, like literally anybody who's been anywhere near the virus, in, if possible, like anybody in the hospital, of course, anybody who's been anywhere near it is potential. So they're marking those down as the under 21 undeath. Like literally, so that's why on March 24th, the numbers here skyrocketed. And that's when we hit that, you know, sweep up phase. It's also the time when, um, when we stopped having people die from flu and pneumonia and a bunch of other diseases because they're not being listed in the death certificates. It's, it's like they don't they don't have to test for anything they just have to say probable and that becomes that number so what we what i can basically prove really quickly and what um what we know for certain is that they're padding the fuck out of the numbers they're lying they're intentionally lying on purpose with with a twisted um twisted death certificate um, um guideline that it pretty much counts everything as an r21 version death so we'll give a max out here we're gonna we have about 7,700 deaths a day in, in, in the united states just in general that's how many people we have that's how many we have so when we'll peak out at about a little bit higher than that because See, the under 21 version is real. It's absolutely a real disease. It's just, I don't, they, they just have to make it more scary than it is. And it's scary as hell. Because in our numbers, if you, if you discount the, if you discount the, um, the people that are probable, like the, the flu and pneumonia, which normally, like I said, since March 24th, nobody's dying of that. I'll bring up the chart here in a second. But, um, but the, um, if you discount those, when we look at it, we actually have 40% of the people dying in this country of that are under 40. So there's no age, there's no old person. Um, Thing about it it's, it's it's killing everybody no matter the age it's just it's, when they've had the numbers like this they um they come out with a, all the, with the majority of people dying in this country every single day are old people with morbidity with, uh, with comorbidity so they're dying of the flu they're dying of pneumonia they're dying of a hey, bunch of other different diseases and as long as they're anywhere near a hospital when they die they're being marked as the under 21 version death and there's nothing no other explanation on the first page of the death certificate so that's what's being counted so those numbers are completely wrong and the numbers of people positive the tests we're using um the tests we're using don't test for the 221 version specifically. They only test for the um, they only test for the beer virus in general. They they test they do they amplify do a DNA amplification. Take a cell sample of your DNA. They amplify it so they can see if there's any other um, residual particles or segments of RNA in there from any viruses. So if you have any RNA virus any RNA virus segments in the sample, you test positive. There's not a single person on this planet that doesn't have some RNA <laughs> segments in them. 
the only people that are, that are getting tested and coming back as negative from the test are because the test malfunctioned. Because if it functions right, you're going to, it's going to be a positive, and it's not going to be a positive for the under 21 version. So that's how we have the huge numbers of the um, of people, you know, that's why it's, it's growing exponentially in, um, in testing is because as we test people, 75% of them are coming out as positive, no matter what, whether they have it or not. And then the death rate is completely padded by counting almost all deaths in this country and around the world too, because it's the World Health Organization, almost all deaths in the, in the world as this one thing when it's not this one thing. It's, it could be probable. I can bring up the, um, I'll, I'll put them in the links in this thing, for the, um, for the, uh, the memos and for the, the graphs. Is there, is there any way that we can throw those charts and graphs up? Yeah, but I'm grabbing them right now. Okay, can you throw them up on the screen? While, yeah, sure, sure. While we, yeah, throw them up. Because, I mean, I found your article um, that you wrote really interesting, <laughs> and I, I will, I will repimp it on my Facebook. I just, mm -hmm. you know, I hate going on Facebook because as soon as I get on, I start writing to people and, like, talking about, you know, because it's, it's lonely here. Trust yeah. me. I mean, it's and for me – you know, this whole, this whole thing that we're going through now, I, I've been training for it since my parents moved to Tennessee and my son moved to Vermont. I mean, I really don't have any reason to leave the house except to go to rehearsal and, you know, shows and stuff like that. And now I don't even have that. So, uh, I mean, sure I'm, I'm hoping. I'm going to share my screen real quick. I'm going to share my screen real quick so you can yeah, see, the, um, yeah. see the, so we can see things here. Let's see, share and share. Yeah. Ooh, good. Not share screen. You do it. You're the producer. Okay. And uh, let's okay. See. So if you're seeing if you're seeing this now, this is um, these are the flu and influenza um for this year. This is the thirteenth week. Let's see, the thirteenth week is right there. It's yeah. right where this line basically is drawn, where everything just drops off. And to give you an example, like this is this March twenty fourth, right there. That's the week of March twenty fourth. Right. Drops off from there. Here's the um, and then here's the here's like last year's chart. That's a normal flu season. That's that's. Okay. That's more of a rates through the flu season. People um, diagnosed with the flu and people that died from it in these charts. As you can see, it goes you know, across the entire year. <laughs> it's, a year it's a year worth of a uh, graph. And then the, uh, this year's is the one where it just stopped dead. Like that's so weeks ago. And this is still the same numbers. And actually CDC hasn't updated anything in the flu view since, since then. Like this came, I did this on the 13th. Um, there are references to this happening in, in other people's blog articles on the 8th. So on the 8th, they had up, they had up, up until the 24th. Um, but the out and graft. They still haven't updated it since then. They're not showing you because they don't want, they don't want to tell show anybody that, oh yeah, we're not, nobody's dying of anything else. We've magically cured everything. Yay. I, I gotta tell, I gotta tell you, my uncle Tim, the actuary would, would mm -hmm. love, would love this. I mean, this is like, you mm -hmm. know, I, he, he's all about statistics. He used to work for the CDC way mm -hmm. back before my cousin Teddy was born. And, uh, these, 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 uh, you know, charts and graphs you're coming up with, are just, I mean, where where did you find this stuff? Oh, you can you can go to you can literally go to cdc.gov and they have all the they have, they have all their information listed. It's all public um, information and until they stop updating it, which they have done on this in this case. Like here, you can see where March twenty fourth is right about here, and this is where it starts skyrocketing upward. Right. Um, then the um, where's this thing? Um, let me find the. Uh, give me one second. So I have to actually reference Facebook for a sec just to find this. And then here's the. Um, yeah, let's make that go down. Bye bye. Uh, but yeah, of course, they're seeing my Facebook now. Great. Um, yeah, well. You see, you know, so basically, and then here's the memos right here. The um, I got, I got, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repost that definitely. Oh, yeah. Um, here's the, here's the, uh, here's the, here's the, um, here's the lovely, um, uh, you know, death certificate coding. The new implement. When will be implemented immediately? Will COVID-19 be the underlying cause? The underlying cause depends upon what and where conditions are reported on the death certificate. However, the rules for coding and selection of the underlying cause of death are expected to result in COVID-19 being the underlying cause of death, cause more often than not. Should have said under 21 version, but yeah. It's, um, it's, <laughs> if you die in a hospital, you're getting, it's getting listed as that. Um, let's see here. And the rest of it all just, it just shows that it's just super vague and um, probable. It's just, it's literally just, a, they're going by probability. They're, and it's not even probability. They're going by anywhere near the exposure. We're just going to count it as that. That's how they're padding the death rate. And look, this is not to say that this is not a real, this is not a real disease. I have two friends of mine that just, just got over it just barely and the people that gave it to them have died. <laughs> and there's people in, in Jersey, I know people in Jersey that are, they're, it's fucked up out there. This is a real thing, but they're also padding it to make it more scary, which is well, mad because in, in, this, in this whole right left divide country where everybody thinks it's either all good or all bad and everything's, everything's in a freaking binary. People believe that because they're lying about this and they're absolutely lying about this. The CDC and World Health Organization also lied about masks. They said they well, masks won't do any good. Masks won't do any good. Of course they would. But they were they were saying that lie because they wanted to use all the masks that were in in, in existence for the for the um, emergency health workers because they forgot to they fucked up and forgot to stockpile. 
So they well, covered their own asses. They covered their own asses. They went, they went, okay, we're gonna use all these things for these guys. And we'll tell you people, and this is the this is the respect they show to the average citizen of this planet and the overall planet is we're gonna lie to you and risk your life and tell you that no masks don't work. Because people would be making homemade masks otherwise, and people would be going out with homemade masks on, which are still better than nothing. A nurse in Texas just came in Austin, Texas, just made a um, an N99, an N995 um, a mask at home from something she got at Lowe's. And it's been tested and it works. It's, it's, it's 4% better than the N95 masks. That's what happens if you let people do it on their own. That's the innovation. But they lied and said it, wouldn't, it didn't matter. It wasn't going to help because it's not an airborne illness. Unless, of course, somebody sneezed within five hours of the area you're in, in which case it is an airborne virus. But they lied about that specifically just to cover their own asses, just to make it seem like they didn't fuck up. And that's, that costs lives. That costs tons of lives. And so when they're lying about something like that, people, people get the automatic in, in impression that they're lying about everything. It's kind of like a 9-11. Planes flew into the towers. They did not have anything to do with the towers coming down. Those were explosives. But planes did fly into the towers. You, you know, it's not, it's, there's not a, there's not a, it's all a lie or it's all the truth thing. That never happens. They, they use the truth. They use any, the shock doctrine is to use any, um, any chaos, any crisis, anything like that to implement whatever they want to. And in this one, they're, they're making it into more of a crisis than it is. Just right. Well, well yeah. uh, okay. Uh, you know, I was just talking to my guitar player, John, and I was just like, John, you got to come on here uh, with, <laughs> excuse me, uh, with, with, uh, with me and Andy, because you, you and John would be like two peas in a pod. Um, and as, as far as the conspiracy theory goes, this is a conspiracy theory. Um, they release their own, they release their own information. It's not a theory. Right. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll, you know, the thing I have to be kind of like the moderator here, Oh yeah, but you know? no, but you learn the difference between between the the the, the CIA invented term conspiracy theory, which is just used to marginalize certain opinions, and actual provable, verifiable science. There's no theory involved in being able to pull up their own documentation and show what they're doing. That's not a theory. I, like I said, I don't know why they're doing it, but they are doing it. It's absolutely true. They did lie yeah. about the masks. That's that's because that's why now they're saying, oh no, now we're masks. Now we're masks. Yeah, that's they did lie about it. They didn't suddenly get a change of information from that day to this day. Because when the first, when the under 21 version, the first version of it came out years ago, they said masks immediately. And they always say masks immediately for respiratory illness. Every single time they say masks immediately. This time they didn't. Right. Well, yeah, hey. There was no, no epiphany.